Hello. Hello, good people. It's been a long time coming. I actually had had some videos filmed. I uh, just never put them out. I've been so busy with with dealing and also I'm moving to Melbourne for six to nine months. So my main priority, unfortunately, hasn't been putting videos out. I hate to say it, but as much as I love this desk, it, it always marks. It's so difficult to keep clean. So what, what I have today to show you, just a quick one of a, an order that I did in. Today is my last day of selling before I go, so I, I leave on the 19th. So I thought I'd put some videos out. I do intend to make some videos out in Melbourne, actually. Uh, I will hopefully still be buying and selling. It depends on the market. Some of you guys have seen these before. These are Cinco Pesos from Colombia. So I said to my guy, I, I'd had 12 of these in. And I struggled to move them. I even did a, a test and I said to this guy, I was like, oh, I'll let you have it for X amount, which turned out to be spot posted. And he was like, no, I want sovereigns. And I was just like, okay, I'll for you. So some people are so fixated on certain types of gold. But in reality, the these are premium coin, are more premium coin. I ended up selling these for 235 to a collector of world gold. He took all three of them along with some other stuff I had. So he took some Turkish stuff I had, some Mexican stuff. Nice guy actually. So these will be going out in the post today. They should have gone yesterday, but I have the worst sleep pattern ever and I woke up at one this morning. So yeah, these came in. Socks. So last five on the order. These have all been sold in principle. So three of these are going to a guy I regularly meet for coffee with. This one's going to a gentleman who's been on my case for a while. And one of them is going to another guy. So that's them sold. These came in. They seem really nice, and then you look at the other side and they've been scratched up. Man, that makes me sad. Bought these for a very good rate. Very, very good rate. Like this one here, I just turned around and said to him, I was like, I can't buy that. It should go to the melting pot, really. And then he's like, oh no. I said to him, I was like, they're really deep scratches. It looks worse than it is. It looks scratched to hell. But they're not like, deep deep they're more surface scratches where they're probably come into a pawn shop and they've scratched it to test the gold wrong wrong way to do it but i bought it for an absolute gift i think i paid the same as i know i think i paid two two eight two two for uh two thirty two two eight mm, maybe two forty two fifty in it so yeah, don't do that. If you get a coin like this, don't do that. So, this one potentially is sold. It does have the scratches, but less so. It's a nice coin. It's a real shame about this because it does have a nice, nice luster. You know, it's okay. Her hair's not fantastic, but you're probably looking at a 55 before the scratches. Real shame, real, real shame. So, for those of you who don't know me, I've, I've been doing more and more currency silver, and I got one of these in. I was so happy to see this. This is actually the first one I've owned. Tala. This is like the mother of all currency silver. So, they're not rare by any definition, you know. I, I think this could probably go for between... 15 to 20 depending on the day and the buyer might actually keep it I do like it it's a real chunky coin as well real chunky coin there was loads of stuff that come in I'm not going to go for it all it... Mexican stuff mixed in with some Belgian, French Swiss it's already been sold to to a regular 
this stuff coming. I thought this would have sold. Um, it's not in the best shape, pretty beat up, but they are circulation coins. The Bolivar, I think Bolivar was a, a gentleman in Venezuela who gave them liberty or something around that. I did read up on it at one point. Yeah, a lot of these come in. Probably worth about 50p a gram. Silver gram, uh, not net gram. Not gross, gross? Yeah, not gross gram, net gram. 50p net gram. So I really love these. I don't even know how many I've got. Let's count them up quickly. So you got... When I mean these are BR, like, for example, this one been shaved <laughs> you know it's... so you've got five there ten fifteen twenty twenty five twenty seven something's a beat up some people will argue, oh, it's only worth scrap, but I don't really sell for scrap. I will very rarely sell for scrap. You know, it's not stuff like this. Some people may argue, oh, you're overpriced. It's a marketplace, guys. So, you know, sometimes you need to let free market principles do their thing. So that's how I see it. I'm not forcing anyone to buy. I'm not saying... I'm good value or bad value, I'm just assigning a value to them. These come in, of course, one of these is really nice. I think it's this one. And I've got the grape. This one's really nice as well. Very nice coin. This one's quite nice. Is that this one? Just turn that over. Yeah. Let's separate these three. These are easy, 50p a, a gram, silver, silver gram. I've got some of these in. These are premium coins, Panama. Surprised these come in. Uh, it's really funny because when I spoke to my supplier, he said to me, he's like, we, we rarely get these in. They, they don't come in often. I've had two lots of them in quick succession. So certainly not complaining. They do hold a, a good premium. I do have one of these in gold as well. That's the dollars, or oh, half dollars, should I say? Not doing too well on my coins today, am I? Uh, got some dimes. Dimes always do well. There was a case where I, I sold a mystery box to someone and. The, the person was like, oh, I don't like the dimes. Uh, I felt like you gave me stuff you couldn't sell. And I was just like, well, I've sold about 1,500 of them in the space of three months. What do you want from me exactly? And anything, you had a cheaper price. But she was really sweet about it. Like We had a chat and I just said to her, I was like, look, I'll, I'll change. I send it back and I'll, I'll give you something different, more to your liking. She was more than happy to do it. So, what it's about, about keeping people happy. These come in. You know, it's... I think these are pure. Pure silver. I have a sneaky suspicion they're worth something. I, I don't know. This came in. I like that. That's nice. Certainly more mark up in that. This come in. I don't know what this is worth. I'm gonna say not a lot. Just odds and sods, really, that come in. What I did last time was I actually I separate everything out. I don't really have the time because I'm I'm moving soon. I separate everything out and. I said to one of my guys, I was like, look, um, I've got this bag. This is this is the money coin here. It's probably worth 
35 to 50 Portuguese Indian rupee and I just said to him, so I got this bag I think it's worth 120 to 100 but I'd already I'd already uh, done the accounting so it was a free carry and he was he offered me 100 pound for it and I said yeah sure you know no problem with that so yeah this just a shortish video to show you some of the stuff I've gotten recently uh, to tell you my plans going to Australia I I probably will put out videos but they'll be more in line with uh, where like new releases where I think the market's going etc etc I I'm not sure how much I'll be buying and selling I the truth is I don't know until I get there I don't know what the market's going to be like I don't know if I can buy and buy and sell in Australia I don't know if I can set up an international link where I buy and sell buy in Australia and sell in the UK or sell in Europe or in the States I, I don't know it all depends on where the dust settles so yeah take care guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'm sorry I haven't put much out and thank you for all the new subscribers who have been subbing me even though I've been quite dormant for a few months now actually which is a shame but it is what it is so take care bye